Hi, my name is Madison S. with MyPracticeTestPrep.com, and this is the third and final video in the free training series, Secrets to Passing the CLEP, the fastest and easiest way to prepare and pass the introductory sociology CLEP exam guaranteed. As you recall, in the first video, we covered what is the CLEP and why you should take it. In the second video, we covered what's on the sociology CLEP exam and where to find the best free sociology CLEP study guides. And on the third video, I'm going to tell you secrets to passing the sociology club and where to find the best free practice test. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now we have a lot of information to cover in a short amount of time, so I have to talk really fast. But you can always re-watch this video or read the unabridged version on my website at bit.ly backslash club sociology. Now that is case sensitive, so please be sure to use all lowercase to get to the correct place. And if you're ever wondering where you can watch all three free training videos to Secrets to Passing the CLEP Introductory Sociology, you can find them at bit.ly backslash CLEP Sociology 1, 2, or 3. Again, that is case sensitive, so please use all lowercase. So with that being said, now let's go ahead and get started. How do I practice for the CLEP Introductory Sociology test? The two most popular options are purchasing the premium Online Peterson's Intro to Sociology CLEP Practice Test or ordering the printed RIA Intro to Sociology CLEP Practice Test book from Amazon at amzn.to backslash RIA Sociology, all lowercase. Again, there are several free CLEP Sociology Practice Tests available online, which I will provide to you shortly. But I always, always, always recommend going with at least one premium service because they are the most up-to-date and resemble both the format and type of questions you are likely to encounter on the actual sociology CLEP exam. I also recommend you check out the official CLEP study guidebook from Amazon at amzn.to backslash CLEP book, all lowercase. Now while it's incorrectly named CLEP study guide, it should be named CLEP practice test because it doesn't include any study guide information. There was a big pet peeve of mine, and when I got the book, I was shocked. So I just want to give you the heads up that it doesn't include any study guide information. It's just merely a practice test. It is the only CLEP practice test created by the actual test makers for all 33 CLEP tests. Now, a special note, there's only one practice test included per exam, as compared to three with the Peterson and the RIA option. And there's no explanation to answers. So you just get a list of what the answer is, but you don't know why you got it wrong. Or if you were guessing, you wouldn't know what the reason was unless you went and researched it. So just an FYI, one practice test, no explanations. But the pro is, it is the only CLEP practice test created by the actual test makers. Anyway, whatever option you go with, it will cost you less than $20. Now, while no CLEP practice test, not even the official CLEP practice test, will be an exact version of the actual CLEP you take on D-Day, they do help to familiarize you with the format and type of CLEP exam questions you're likely to encounter on the sociology CLEP. I like to use practice tests as indicators of my readiness for the actual CLEP test, so I'm more confident on exam day. For those of you who are new to CLEP exams, I put together a 10-step study guide plan for the Introductory Sociology CLEP at bit.ly backslash CLEP Sociology. Now this comes from several years of personal experience after taking dozens and dozens of exams, literally. For those of you who know my story know I was able to basically test out of my first two years of college, saving tens of thousands of dollars at my, my private four-year university. And so in, during that time, I learned a few things. And I mastered how to study for the shortest possible time to get the highest possible answer. And you can too. And I detail that at bit.ly backslash CLEP Sociology. Free Introductory Sociology CLEP Practice Test. A lot of times I'm asked, Madison, where can I find free Sociology CLEP Practice Test? My best advice is to always check with your local library first. Even if your library doesn't have a CLEP sociology book. Many libraries have agreements with libraries across town and sometimes even in different cities. Also, don't forget to check your college or university's library for CLEP books. In addition, many libraries subscribe to Nelnet. Now, Nelnet is the company behind Peterson's, so you can get that online Peterson's resource I was talking about a few slides back for free. 
And that's how I was able to get a lot of my Peterson's practice tests for free is through my library. All you have to do is go up to your friendly librarian and ask him or her what clap preparation resources are available to you. And good news for those of you in the military, as a special thank you to your service, the Peterson clap practice tests are free for you by going to the Nelnet DOD website. And if you go to bit.ly backslash clap military, I'll show you where to find that special link. Now, for those of you who don't have access to one of the above resources, or if you're just looking for more practice questions, I've compiled a list of additional free CLEP sociology practice test questions at bit.ly backslash CLEP sociology. Because what a lot of people don't know is another great resource for practice tests or introductory sociology textbook companion websites. Because while they don't resemble the format of the actual CLEP, they do go deep to ask you multiple choice questions about concepts you might find on the exam. Remember, the makers of the CLEP test base the exam on what you would normally learn in a intro sociology undergrad course. So companion websites serve as a great supplement to test what you should know to what you actually know. Plus, companion websites give you additional sociology study guides and resources to supplement your learning. With that being said, I will give you a word of caution when using companion websites. The questions will be different than the type of questions you're likely to encounter on the CLEP. And while many of you will say, well, that's a waste of time, what I can tell you after taking dozens of CLEP tests is that nothing beats confidence. After you've gone through some of the, the Peterson or, or the RIA practice tests, if you're still shaky about a couple of topics, then these serve as great supplements to your core studies. Because companion website quizzes require you to use critical thinking to answer and then go research any incorrect answers. So it forces you to actually start to understand the topic. And the secret to passing any CLEP test is to understand the topic, not just memorize a bunch of facts. Because when you truly understand a topic, you can answer any question you encounter on the actual CLEP. And this was one of my little concepts that I used during my own studying to prepare. I would first go through either the Petersons or the RIA, and then I would go to some of these companion websites, pick a chapter that I, I needed some more help with, and, and go through their practice test questions. And it really helped me to kind of pound in some of these concepts that I wasn't sure on. Again, I've compiled a free list of sociology practice test companion websites at bit.ly backslash clap sociology. What is a passing sociology clap test score? After completing the 90 minute 100 multiple choice question clap sociology test, you will receive a scale score ranging between 20 to 80. Now each college has its own credit by exam policy for awarding college credit but the ACE recommended passing sociology CLEP test score is 50. What I always tell people is that it's important to know that CLEP tests are scored on a curve. With a passing score being the same number of questions correct, a C average student will receive on a comparable introductory sociology final exam. While the college board, what does the scoring, does not release this number, seasoned CLEP test takers usually aim for a raw score between 60 to 70 percent correctly answered. Now on the actual exam, that number is not important because you should be trying to do your best and get as many correct. But when you're doing your practice test with the Peterson or the RIA, that 60 to 70 percent mark is, is something that you should use to gauge how ready you are for the exam. And also a special note that I, I've talked to some other people who've taken the sociology. They said that because of the ease of the sociology exam, the curve is higher than normal. Meaning that while this is an easy exam to pass, you might receive a lower score than expected. But most colleges only grade on a pass-fail grade anyway, so that won't make a difference. Okay, so now going back to the 60 to 70. Depending on the difficulty of the exam, this is usually well above the curve you need to achieve a passing score. I also remind new CLEP test takers that you do not lose points for incorrect answers. So you should always try to answer all the questions on the exam even if you're unsure of the correct answer. 
This works best if you can narrow down your choices to two or three possible answers. That way you at least have a 50-50 chance of guessing correctly. And this is the secret sauce, folks. So you, you want to write this down or you, you want to kind of keep it in the back of your mind. It may sound simple, but this is the secret sauce to help me to get through a lot of exams. Because remember, each question is worth the same amount of points as the next one, regardless of how easy or difficult the question is. The name of the game is to answer as many easy and intermediate questions as fast as possible. If you come across a question that is too hard to solve within a minute or two, mark it, skip it, and move on. Because you don't want to struggle and toil over every hard question at the expense of not having enough time to answer the easier questions. You can always go back to the ones you skipped at the end of the exam if you have time left over. So go for the low hanging fruit first. That may sound simple, but trust me, it will help you a lot to get through the exam. A couple of other patent pending Madison tips and tricks. Number one, manage your time wisely. Depending on the comfort level, some tests you can whiz by and others will come down to the last second. If you know that to be the case for this particular exam, then you always want to select an answer before you skip a question just in case you don't have time to return at the end of the exam. Remember, you do not lose plans for incorrect answers, so it's better to have something than nothing. Number two, always be on the lookout for questions that answer other questions. Every now and then, you'll run across a question that can help you answer another question. That The clap, the clap is multiple choice for Pete's sake, so the answer is right in front of you. If you do not know the answer, then use this technique and process of elimination to help you determine the correct answer. Three, and remember, that's why this is in bold red underline, and remember, you do not have to get a 100% on the sociology CLEP test to score well. It's a curved test like we talked about, which means you just have to do better than the next person to score well. And trust me, the curve is usually very, very generous. Okay, we've covered a lot of information, and depending on your prior comfort level, the CLEP Introductory Sociality Test is an easy exam to study for, and most students will only need about one to two weeks. Some students I've heard take it in one to two days. So, for most people, though, you do need a reasonable one to two weeks, and that comes out to about 10 to 15 hours per week. And that's why I said reasonable, folks. I don't want you to tell me, well, I studied, but you really didn't. And then you failed the exam and you're saying, hey, you said I would pass, guaranteed. Well, you didn't put any effort into it. This is a serious exam and you do have to put effort into it. But it's also a lot easier than taking the course at your college. The key to any study plan is do not get overwhelmed. There is a lot of information to review and it's not uncommon to feel stressed out and overwhelmed at times. Remember, this is stuff that you would normally learn over a 16-week semester, and we're trying to cram it into a couple of weeks and sometimes even a couple of days. So it's normal to have that feeling of being stressed out and overwhelmed. But just use my three steps below for the fastest and easiest way to prepare and pass the CLEP Introductory Sociology Exam, and you'll do just great. Pass the Introductory Sociology CLEP Exam guaranteed. Step 1. Before you do anything else, study the Instancer's Introductory Sociology Club Study Guide and read their exam-specific feedback form. Now, I didn't even have time to get into the form on this video, but just imagine if you had access to talk to past test takers and get, you know, what they used to study, what they wish they would have studied more, some tips and tricks of, of things that they might have found difficult on the exam. And so, I covered some of the things in this video, but this form goes way more into detail than what I had time to cover here. So InstantCert will give you a rock solid foundation to pass the CLEP sociology exam. And many past test test takers say that you can pass the sociology CLEP with this information alone. Remember you can watch my InstantCert review at bit.ly backslash IC review. And as a special bonus, I've secured you a $5 discount off your first month membership it, when you use discount code 3014-2. Step 2. Recommended. Next, take all three Peterson Sociology Club Practice Tests 
or RIA Sociology Clap Practice Test, which you can get the book at amzn.to backslash RIA Sociology. To assess your readiness for the Sociology Clap exam, this will give you a good indicator of if and when you're ready to take the exam. Remember, on these practice tests, you're shooting in the 60 to 70 percent mark, and although they're not, you know, they're not the exact clap test you're going to have on your exam day, they do help to familiarize you with the format, the type of questions, the time constraints, and they give you a good indicator of if and when you're ready. Step three, optional. Sign up for my free Secrets to Passing the Clap Introductory Sociology Clap study guides and practice tests at bit.ly backslash clap sociology. These clap prep resources serve as great supplements that will help give you that extra confidence boost during the exam. Instant Cert will give you the foundation. These will take you to the next level and help you fill in those gaps of your knowledge. So by the end of the exam, not only did you just study to pass the exam, but you actually learned something from the material too. And that's where the real learning starts. This concludes the end of this video. Whether you're just starting your studying or wrapping up, I just want to tell everybody good luck fellow club test takers. Because whether you watch all three videos in the series or just one or two, you're already well ahead of the curve. And so by the end of this three-part series, I would have told you everything I know to help you prepare and pass the introductory sociology club test. Now the rest is up to you. So go get her done. My name is Madison S. with MyPracticeTestRep.com. What to do next? If you haven't already done so, you're going to want to watch all three parts in the video training series, Secrets to Passing the Club, Introductory Sociology. You can find any of those at bit.ly backslash club sociology 1, 2, or 3. Remember that is case sensitive, so please be sure to use all lowercase. These are the three important links mentioned throughout the video training series. If you haven't already done so, you're going to want to write them down and go visit them immediately. Number one. You're going to want to download my free Secrets to Passing the Club Introductory Sociology at bit.ly backslash club sociology. Number two, you're going to want to watch my Instant Cert Club Study Guide Review at bit.ly backslash IC Review. And remember, I secured you a special discount code, 3014 where if you use that code, you get $5 off your first month membership just for giving them a try. And number three, when you finish up your studies, you're going to want to take one of the practice tests, and you can find some of those at amzn.to backslash clubbook or amzn.to backslash reassociology. Also, if you liked this video and you thought it was really helpful, please be sure to comment, rate, share, and subscribe to this page or video because that's what tells Google and YouTube that this is a really good video that can help other students learn how to pay for college by testing out of college, by spreading the message to your family and friends, you help keep this content free for all. Bonus, more great ways to pay for college. Look folks, I am out of time on this video training, so please be sure to pause the video, write down the links, and go visit them immediately, because I give you more great ways to help you find money to pay for college, through your traditional financial aid, scholarships, who can turn down free money, or good old friend student loans, and college coupons and deals that you can't resist. Feature sponsor. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and I'd also like to thank the sponsors of this video that help keep this content free for you. The feature sponsor of this video is Prosper, America's leading social lending marketplace. I chose them after I heard an interesting news radio program on NPR the other day where Prosper Marketplace was a way to connect people who wanted to invest money with people who wanted to borrow money. So basically, instead of going to a big corporate bank for a personal loan, you would post your loan request on Prosper Marketplace and watch as dozens of members invest together to get you the money you need. Or you could be one of those investors yourself. And this is all done in a safe social lending marketplace. It's an innovative concept where people invest, borrow, and prosper. Please be sure to check out our sponsor at bit.ly backslash prosperlending and tell them Madison sent you. Well, that's it for me. Peace and love to all.